The glittering metropolis of Dubai is fast gaining prominence as a glamorous tourist destination and an important regional center for business and trade. To further enhance Dubai's status as a world city, an ambitious new project has been launched to streamline its transportation infrastructure, Dubai Metro. Dubai Metro Rail will operate more than 100 fully automated driverless trains on 75 kilometers of electrified track serving 47 stations. It's one of the most advanced mass transit systems in the world. There are two lines serving the city's main populated district. The red line runs between Jasta Limitless and Rashidia. There are 29 stations spread over the 52 kilometer route and the one-way journey time takes about one hour. The green line connects al Fazer with al Jadar, passing through Healthcare City, a distance of 22 and a half kilometers. There are 18 stations on this route with a one-way journey time of about 30 minutes. The Dubai Metro rail system has been carefully planned to fully integrate with the city's existing transportation infrastructure. Bus routes and stops are organized around the rail system's alignment, extending its reach into all communities across Dubai. Taxi rides and park and ride facilities are provided to further attract passengers. A common fare payment method provides seamless transit between all public transport using smart cars. A typical metro journey from Financial Center to Union Square provides an introduction to the passenger experience. Station entrances are provided at street level through the distinctive arched pods common throughout the system. An air-conditioned walkway across Sheikh Zayed Road leads directly into the elevated station concourse. Throughout all stations, clear and simple signage indicates the passenger's journey each step of the way. Customer service centers, ticket vending machines, retail outlets and washrooms provide all the amenities for the passenger's comfort and convenience. Passengers can use the recently introduced Ego smart card to enter the system. Once through the ticket gate, passengers proceed to the platform level via lifts, escalators or stairs. Platform screen doors enhance passenger safety and allow for full climate control throughout the entire station. The fully automated driverless trains provide a highly convenient and efficient service with trains every one and a half minutes at peak times and every three minutes at off-peak times. With impressive views of Dubai's skyline, the metro system, as well as providing an efficient passenger service, will also become a highly popular tourist attraction. Emirates Towers is another overground station. Access to the main concourse is at ground level. On entering the station, passengers are directed through the ticket gates and ascend to the platform by way of lifts and escalators. Like all overground stations, glass walls provide a clear sense of orientation to the city outside and roof lights radiate daylight to illuminate the public spaces below. The Gold Class carriage is situated at the front of the train and has been designed to provide VIP passengers with comfortable seating in a luxurious setting. On reaching the old part of the town at Al Karama, the railway heads underground through the tunnel portal to arrive at Bergerman Station, immediately below the main shopping plaza. Bergerman is one of the ten underground stations and is one of the two main stations that serve as an interchange between the red and green lines. Passengers on the red line wishing to transfer can proceed to the green line platform one level above. The easily recognizable entrances at street level provide convenient access to the main concourse which is located immediately above the green line platform and features a select range of retail shops. The light and spacious main concourse at Bergerman provides a welcoming relief from the heat. The high ceilings and cavernous proportions make the platforms a comfortable and secure setting in which to board the train. Located near the front of the train is a separate compartment designated to women and children. 
Remaining on the red line, the journey continues underground, passing beneath the creek to our destination, Union Square. This station serves as the system's second interchange, and passengers transferring between the red and green lines simply cross the platform, as both lines are on the same level. Union Square is the end of our short introductory journey. The main concourse at Union Square is just one level above the platform and directly beneath street level. Passengers completing their journey at Union Square pass through the ticket gates and proceed to one of the two exits that lead to the park above. The entire journey from Financial Center to Union Square has taken just 10 minutes. All stations have been designed from the outset to provide facilities and features for the elderly and passengers with disabilities, including people with mobility restrictions and impaired vision or hearing. The station interiors have been designed as works of art, enhancing the travel experience and reflecting local culture. The bold yet welcoming design themes express the city's astounding quest for continual and stylish innovation. Dubai's Metro Rail System is at the leading edge of railway engineering technology and will be a powerful catalyst to boost tourism and economic growth, not only in Dubai, but throughout the United Arab Emirates. 